Europe's death mess, meantime, has uh, critics of the euro calling for its breakup. So our own Sarah Eisen went to the man known as the father of the euro for his take. Sarah? Eric, he's the foremost expert on the euro. Nobel laureate Professor Robert Mundell of Columbia came up with the concept for the euro. Central banks listened to him. Governments listened to him. He talked to us. He even gave us a target level to watch for the euro. First, Eric, his message to those calling for the euro to break up, nonsense. Euro should expand even further, he says, even to the UK. But the biggest threat, Eric, the biggest threat to the euro, it's not Greece, it's not Portugal, it's Italy. Listen to this. I think it would be very difficult to bail Italy out. I think that what we have to make sure is that whatever is being done to Greece and possibly to Portugal and maybe Ireland uh, has to also save Italy from that problem. Italy's, Italy's got to be worried. Italy's got to be worried and he's got another message, Eric. This one is for the European Central Bank. Don't let the euro get too strong. Listen to this. Right now I think they should not let the euro ever for the next 10 years rise above $1.40. The idea there is that the stronger euro will kill exports and $1.40, we are very close to that, around 137 euro against the dollar as we speak. Bottom line, Mundell says euro stays, euro stays strong, but not too strong. And overall, Europe will be stronger for it, Eric. Okay, so Sarah, though, there is one question we've left out. What on earth should Europe do about Greece? What did Mundell have to say on he, that front? He had some strong words about what should be done about Greece. First, Europe must set the discipline, and Greece must act like adults. That was his words. Europe must bail them out also in the form of a long-term loan with strings attached. But Mundell made it very clear, Eric, this is not a Euro crisis. It's a Greek crisis. Just like if California defaults, it's not a dollar crisis. So bottom line, not about euro, not about euro devaluation. This is just about Greece. Euro stays.